definitely some tax documents from filing earlier this month. We'll take it all. So the free shredding event is Saturday morning, but ahead of that, we wanted to talk about why it's so important to keep your private information private mm -hmm. to help us with some of that information. We're joined by Nick Davis, who's the Chief Information Security Officer for the UW System. Good morning, good to see you. Good morning, good, good to morning. be here. So we, I, I, before we even started, I said, I think it's important for people to understand why this is so important. I mean, why do we have to keep this information private? So the more places you have your information, the more likely it is to be stolen and misused against you. It could be used for any number of reasons, for, for healthcare fraud, for obtaining services without your permission, for applying for credit cards. It could even be used to blackmail you if it was some sort of sensitive information that you wouldn't want to make known publicly. Do you often hear stories from people who say, I never envisioned, I never imagined this would happen to me? Well, I think we hear that all the time. I mean, we think that about ourselves when we see things, and yeah. it, it takes such little effort in order to protect your data, and the benefit is so large. I always look at the risk-reward scenario. A little bit of effort, and you saved yourself from identity theft and maybe years of hassle. Yeah, let's talk about some of those efforts. I mean, the shredding is one thing. Are there other things that you tell people, here's something easy you can do? Sure. Yeah. I always... I always tell people to check their mail as soon as they get home from work. You don't want to leave it sitting in your mailbox. It is easily stolen from there. Uh, you want to make sure that you check your credit reports and don't see anything that is strange appearing on your credit reports. Uh, those are the sort of things, if you get a credit card in the mail that you didn't apply for, that might be a hint, or you start getting calls from bill collectors for things that you never purchased. Those are some good hints that somebody's got your identity. You talk about hints. Uh, people don't, or might not understand, I guess, the effort associated with clearing things up on the backside. I mean, you talk about risk reward, but mm -hmm. having to fix this on the backside, the hours uh, so, I mean, describe for people, if you can, just how hard is this to fix, to get your identity back? It, it, it's very difficult, and it may never be completely fixed. Uh, the government very rarely reissues Social Security numbers, so if your SSN is stolen, you may be stuck for life with people using that SSN number. Uh, it can cost thousands and thousands of dollars to hire an attorney to negotiate with these companies that claim that you owe them, and it can just drag on for years and years. Nick, I'm also curious, just with your expertise, too, I mean, a lot of people are going paperless with bills and, and things like that. What can we be doing online to do some of these same things? Because obviously we're not going to shred our computer at the end of the day. Sure, <laughs> certainly so. So a couple of things. One, I would definitely go paperless with bills. I know that, that from our generation, at least, we always liked having a piece of paper yeah. in front of us. But the truth is that those records are all backed up and kept online. If you go paperless, you're not going to have extraneous copies of your information floating around. Additionally, when you shop online, there's often an option to save your credit card number at a website. I always urge people not to use that. The fewer places where you're information propagates to, the safer you're going to be. It takes a couple of seconds to type your credit card number in. When you purchase an item, much better than having it saved where it could be stolen. I know a number of consumer advocates were also encouraging people with all the information about hacks and whatnot to not necessarily give in and say, let's do paper once again, because it's still too easy to, you know, to get that kind of information. It is really, it really easy. I mean, think about your mailbox out front and how yeah. the papers sit there all day long, and anyone can drive by and take, take your letters out of the mailbox. Uh, it only makes sense to go paperless. It seems like it might be less secure because you don't have that paper in front of you. Mm -hmm. But again, it comes back to copies of records. Minimize the number of copies of records, and you will minimize your exposure to identity theft. All right, we want to remind people, if you do have those records lying around the house, House or your office. Shredfest is happening this Saturday, 8.30 to 11 over at Warner Park. Three bag limit there, so if you can bring those two in a paper bag, that is very helpful. Those plastic bags can't go through the shredder. We have a list of what you can shred over on channel3000.com.